This is me at Microsoft in 1994, posing with the dollar bill that I won in a bet over the Windows 95 shell. I was working with a guy named Bob Day and a few others to port the Windows 95 user interface over to Windows NT. Even though a year of work would remain for Unicode conversion and other feature work, our first task was to get the code compiling for NT. That meant adapting every system call that differs between 95 and NT, handling cases that just won't work on NT, and so on. For example, on Windows 95 you can reinitialize a critical section, but on NT you cannot. Windows 95 had a memory section shared amongst all the shell processes, and so on. After a few weeks, I finally got it all to compile, and out popped explore.exe and shell32 DLL. I was so excited that I ran to grab Bob from his office to show him like I was a little kid. Bob and I sat in front of my old CRT and did the obvious thing. We ran it to see what would happen. But first, we took bets on how far we thought the code might make it. Bob thought it would probably die in DLL attach or somewhere similarly early in the shell startup code. I was more optimistic. In fact, I bet that it would get all the way to the desktop. So I typed explore and hit enter. My hard drive churned for a while. This was, after all, a big debug build, and my 486DX250 dev machine only had 12 megs of memory, even though I thought that was a lot at the time. Log messages scrolled up the screen of the Ambert VT220 that I had attached as a serial debugger, and a few seconds later, the PC screen turned that classic seafoam green. A few seconds after that, icons appeared. They were mostly wrong and the labels were missing, but it was the desktop. We sat in wonder that it had made it that far for a little while, and then I got greedy and I think I clicked on the start menu or did something like that, and it crashed. But it had made it to the desktop, and Bob paid me my dollar. Well done, he said. I went to put it in my pocket, but he immediately said, Don't put it in your pocket. It's your lucky dollar. I asked him, well, where do you want me to put it? Anywhere, but not in your pocket. Or it'll get mixed in with the others and become just a dollar. Which it is. He raised his eyebrows, turned and left. And so I pinned it to my corkboard, where it stayed for the rest of my career at Microsoft. Remember, I'm mostly in this for the subs and likes, so please be sure to leave me one of each before you go today. Thanks. Do it, Glenn. Do it. Do it.